there, everybody. Welcome to our new edition of Big Brother 23 Life Feed Spoilers, and we got a lot to cover in this video. Yep, we're going to talk about who's nominated, who played in the veto, who won the veto. We have all that information for you. Yeah, and I, I, it may not be the most eventful week this time around, depending on how some things shake out, but it's Big Brother. You never know for sure what's going to happen, right? No, you never know. You never know. All right, well, before we dive into all of this good stuff, how about you just dive over to that subscribe button? I don't really know if you're going to die, but you know what? <laughs> Follow the lead here. Hit the button. We're here talking about Big Brother, all sorts of other good stuff. Power Book 3, Animal Kingdom, The Blacklist. We don't want you guys to miss any of this. Also, thank you for all the well wishes. I had a little bit of a sore throat the other day, and you guys... Uh, I put up on the community board that we didn't have a video yesterday and I saw that there was concern that I was really sick and thank you for that but I'm fine and I was fine yesterday too. Um, we actually just decided to take the night off. Matt had a little bit of a problem with yeah. his eye and sitting in front of the computer and stuff like that was you know, possibly going to irritate it and yeah. we want to take care of his eyes. So that's why we weren't here <laughs> yesterday. It wasn't because I was dying in bed or anything no, like that. It no. was fine. <laughs> yeah, it's just if I was sitting here, I would have been like Blinky McBlink face in this video. And I don't know if anybody needed to see that. Yeah, his eyes just needed a rest from sort of phone, computer, whatever. So instead, we did a puzzle yesterday. Yes. We got pictures up on our Instagram, Matt and Just TV. Be sure to follow us there. Thank you for everyone yes. who has followed us there. We appreciate it. All right. So now we will get into, first and foremost, the official nominations from Head of Household Christian. Yes. They are Hannah and Whitney. Shocker. Okay. Yeah. Nobody no, nobody is surprised by that. The only debate that has been going on is like, who is Christian actually want out between the two of them? Yeah. And it seems like, you know, for now he wants Whitney gone, but I mean... It, things change. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised that they change, like, at least a few more times yes. between now and Thursday. I mean, this this is not a Brent situation here. I think it's important to note that. Yes, Whitney understands that she's in danger. She does. Uh, yeah, like, <laughs> if we get a confessional from Whitney over the next week or so that is anything like the Brent ones where he's just like, I know I'm safe. I just got to talk to people for the safe. Okay, Whitney... When, at least you seem like you have your stuff together. We'll have to watch the show, I guess, to know for sure. Yeah, and hopefully we'll we'll see her work it a little bit here. I mean, right now it seems like Hannah will have the votes to stay, but again, anything can change. Okay, so before we get into the veto itself, there's a couple of things that happened leading up to it. I, first and foremost, Claire, let's have a little bit of a further explanation on her power. It seems yep. as though she's safe till jury, but... It also seems like she may not be able to vote until jury, which is... Claire. Claire, Claire. Claire, Claire, Claire see, Claire. I am all on it. Claire's my winner pick. I'm I very... I, I'm on board now. Welcome to Team Claire. <laughs> the, the weather's nice here. We're yes, all very, it is. We're all very, very happy. And, you know, I will say this. Some of these other players had, like, these potentially really bad consequences to, you know, taking their wild card power. Yeah, the thing is, is not being able to vote. I mean, okay. So far, the House is all kind of voting together. Is her vote really going to change anything? I mean, maybe, <laughs> but probably not. I mean, everybody kind of just goes with the flow. So if her vote's not there, I don't think anyone's going to be that mad where it's like, oh, man. If we just had Claire's vote, if we just had Claire's vote, we could yeah. change this. Okay, well, that's not really a thing. I almost think not it's a, right now. It's a good thing for Claire that she doesn't have to vote now because if there is some sort of close vote on something, she could just sort of back her way out of the room and be like, "It ain't my fault. I didn't cast a vote. You guys, can't you're still vote. backing into the room. You gotta like back." Up. Okay, I'm just like, well, okay, you know, okay, now we're just like nobody in the video anymore. But yes, I think that Claire. You're, she's set up pretty well. I think as long as she just doesn't have a big target on herself over the next week or two, people will just forget about this. Yes. So one other thing that was kind of interesting earlier is just before the veto players were even really chosen, Hannah was trying to tell Whitney that there was this plan that could happen to backdoor Derek X and like almost as though, I don't know if she was just trying to lure her into a false sense of security or something. Yeah, it feels like 
like it's kind of just a fake plan to sort of throw Whitney off a little bit. But I mean, why bother? I mean, yeah, Whitney is going to fight and, and that's fine. She should. But I think Hannah's going to be okay. <laughs> The only reason that, like, I even focused on this is just Whitney's sort of response to this nonsense was that she almost would feel like she should go instead of Derek <laughs> X because she likes Derek X. I like Derek X too, Whitney, but I have a message from you. <clears throat> Goodbye. We don't need you anymore in the house. If you would rather go instead of someone else, I don't care if you're just speaking metaphorically. I don't care if you're trying to be nice. I just don't care. The thing about this is, is I agree. Yeah. Like, I don't want to see people lay down for other people in this house. But... I understand why people do. When they yeah. get into this house, it's a very intense situation and relationships develop very quickly, very strongly, and they last for years. So it's, I can understand why she's feeling that way, but she doesn't need to say it and she doesn't need to do it. She needs to find a way to get past it. <laughs> I think it's just in this house, there's nothing else to do. So yeah. a lot of people will just say whatever they're feeling whenever they're feeling it. I mean, there's also the possibility that she's kind of like trying to play into Hannah a little bit. Yeah. Everybody knows that Hannah and Derek X are close yeah. and, you know, that sort of thing. Maybe she's just trying to play into that. It may very well be. I think we're going to get a better understanding of just who Whitney is as a player over the next few days. Because, I mean, she hasn't been in a situation where her back is up against the wall. Yeah. Now, we also have Derek F's inquisition which seemed to have started when someone told Alyssa that he was going after the kings and by that someone i i mean hannah but you know <laughs> Alyssa didn't relate that part of it to him but now he he has been i think he's cooler off now but like leading up to the veto he's just like huffing and puffing and all mad about it yeah he is <laughs> okay you know what derek f you may be upset but i kind of I kind of enjoyed it when you were upset because it was kind of entertaining to watch. Yeah, get in the game, Derek. He's, yeah, like, this is the thing. is He's got so much entertainment potential, but whether it's in between him wanting to work with Frenchie for as long as he did or, like, some of his takes being really bad, it's like, I just, I have... Or ruining the blind side. It's... Derek F. is the ultimate, I want to root for you, but you make it really hard for me. Agreed. Time, Same. time again. Okay. Veto players, let's get into it. Okay, so we got Christian, Whitney, Hannah, Aza, Claire, Derek X. Derek X be playing a lot this season. <laughs> yeah, it feels like he's getting chosen like every single time. Like, and I was... I was really curious going into all of this, and regardless of who said what or whatever leading into the competition, like, you know, if if Derek X had won this, like, would he actually contemplate saving Hannah because he'd really be putting his neck out for her and everybody would know how close they are? Okay, everybody already knows. <laughs> you might as well just save them. I always, like, I always get so irritated with that idea of, oh, I don't want people to know we're really close. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Every single time, everybody yeah. knows. So just don't let the person you're working with go home. Like, you guys will both be able to play in the HOH next time. You have a better shot with two of you than one but of you. <laughs> Always take your person off the block. There's, like, open people openly shipping Derek X and Hannah at the, within the house. This is not even... Us, a too. Outside the house. This is not even a remote secret at this point, but, you know, those were the veto players. We go into the power of veto competition. It really felt like if Whitney did not win, Whitney's goose would be cooked. And she did not win. Christian won. So will he use it? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, he's the one who made the nominations. He didn't really go into this with a backdoor plan. So, no. yeah, he's probably not going to use it. Okay, Christian, here's where you and I need to have a talk. You won the veto last week. You won this HOH, and I don't care if it was a team thing and you didn't understand the rules or whatever other excuse you're throwing out there. You, <laughs> you still, fell into it. You still won it, and now you've won another veto. You have won three competitions in a row. That is not good for you in this game. Yeah. 
Chris, Chris is in trouble. And there are people that can win this game without winning competitions. We actually saw some of that on the live feeds talking about, oh, has anyone won this game without winning any competitions? Yes, Dr. Wills won this yes. game without win winning any competitions. You can win on a good social game. However, yeah. Winning too much too early can really put a target on your back. And Christian's already, like, you know, a buff guy. So we got that. Plus, he's likable. There's that. Plus, he's in a showman. So there's yeah. Christian's. Christian, you need to just pull back. You need to pull back. <laughs> You're doing too much. Christian is one of the most, at least for like this point in the game, Christian is like one of the most threatening players I would have ever experienced if I was in the game. Because, you know, we we sort of know on the outside that the Royal Flush isn't that big of a deal and it's not something we take it that seriously. But, you know, if you're in the Royal Flush, you're probably thinking a little bit about him and being insulated there. You're probably thinking about his competition prowess. You're probably thinking about his likability. His It's just like... This guy, I would take him out yesterday if I had a chance to. Like, I really wonder, are people going to regret down the road, not, and I hate to say this, but not keeping Travis in the game and getting rid of Alyssa then? Well, who, who they had no way of I knowing know. any of this stuff then. It's true, it's true. They had... I was back on the island where I was defending <laughs> that Alyssa shouldn't be targeted for being in a non-showmance, because at that time nothing was happening. Yeah, and so, but I think the thing that's going to be very interesting about sort of Christian's recent competition streak is I think it's going to put it in Alyssa's head that, okay, I need to sort of pick up where he's leaving off now because I, I got to know that he's going to be a big threat to a lot of people. So now I got to win potentially the next HOH. Alyssa thinks that Aza is a threat. Yes. And that she needs to go soon. So, you know, I don't really know where Alyssa's head is at. Yeah, like we kind of... To be honest here. And I'm not trying to say that Aza is a terrible player. Has she made a couple mistakes? Yeah. Sure. Okay, everybody has. Nobody's playing like a perfect game or anything like yeah. that. But Aza, that's the person you want to target? Aza. Okay, yeah. Alyssa. <laughs> Alyssa is just too loyal to this royal flesh thing that she, I think, thinks probably is more of a real thing than it really is. Yeah. And this is... This is sort of the downfall a little bit of where Christian and Alyssa are. And obviously, I can't blame them for not knowing stuff, but they're in the dark about the cookout. And because yeah. they're in the dark about the cookout, they're already doing the cookout's bidding and getting rid of Whitney. And if they put Aza up next time, let's say Alyssa actually wins HOH and they put her up with, say, Brittany, for example... They could just get rid of Brittany, and then once again, you're playing into the cookout's hands. Yes, this is the issue, is that everyone outside of the cookout is going home, yeah. and the numbers for voting are dwindling on the other side of the house very quickly. And then the fun part in all of this is, well, Christian, the loyal champion of the royal flesh, is like going and winning all these competitions, you know. Kylan is just like sitting back and being really happy about it because it's all right. Bigger target on you, buddy, moving forward. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that there are some of the other more physical guys in the house like Kylan, like Xavier, who are like, okay, this is good for me. Yeah. Like it's something where you can use Christian as sort of a meat shield for a little while. And it's, it's always good to have a meat shield in the game. Yes, it is. <laughs> But you also need to know... When because it, even yeah. if he wins a bunch of stuff, uh, the cookout still has the votes. Like, yeah. winning stuff is fine and great or whatever, but they still choose who goes home. Yeah, and as long as he doesn't really know that they exist, I think they're going to be A-OK -okay with a lot of the stuff that is going on. But I, I also really like the idea that Kylan is sort of looking out for Claire. Like, he's... Happy that Christian obviously won this comp, but he's also happy Claire didn't win the comp because after that safety, if she won the comp too, then people would start to really look towards her a little bit. Your winner pick is doing all right. I'm feeling really, really good about Claire right now. And I know Tiffany's probably like the best strategic player in the game right now. I'm jumping over to Derek X. That's what's happening with me. Okay, yeah. I just, he he got targeted so much that first week. Yeah. And he's been able to 
really maneuver his way into something a little more solid. I think that's really impressive gameplay, if I'm being honest. No, it, it, it is impressive. And that can that was not easy. Like the whole house was just easily dogpiling on top of Derek X to get him out. He hadn't really done anything. And now he's built some really good relationships. He's really close with Hannah. He's proven his loyalty to Kylan. I mean, he has... He has turned a game around very, very well, and it took him a little bit of time, but he got there. I'm impressed with that. That's what's so cool about this season right now, because it's like, there's not one dominant player. I'm thinking, okay, Tiffany's obviously really good. Derek X has gotten himself in such a better position. You know, Kylan, I think, is really good. I've liked Tiffany pretty much from the get-go. Xavier seems to be particularly good at the game. Yeah, in this game, it's very hard to right the ship once it starts going down. We've seen it time and time again, even yeah. this season with Frenchie, with Brent, like even a little bit with Brittany. Every time she's been put on the block, it's gotten, you know, pretty sad and, yeah. and you know, bad for her but Derek X has really found a way to pull it around that is not easy I'm very Derek X. De okay Derek Derek X. I didn't know how you were going to incorporate <laughs> the X into the chant so you know what we love Derek X here we he still is, with with apologies to Derek F, who I'm sure is so still... So does Mr. Plantacular. He is also rooting for Derek <laughs> okay, X. That's so... right. We're a team. I see. So we've now established that Mr. Plantacular is just going to follow your rooting interests. That's right. Where's Coco? Coco, you can root for Claire, oh, too. See, I'm, no, I'm pulling Claire. Oh, no, no. Coco is now... How? No, how dare you? Harley, let's see, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull, I need, I need to get an ally here, however I can. Here we are trying to force our pets into liking our favorite players. We're sick of, well, we're 17 minutes of into this video. And no, now but, it's like careening off a cliff Okay, here. well, right. we will, we will stop ourselves from going on the cliff further, but okay, you know what? Let us know what you guys want to see happen in the house the rest of this week in the comments and uh, give us a like, check out our other coverage, Power Book 3, Animal Kingdom. We'll see you guys here next time.